use the method of undetermined coefficients to obtain the general solution of the differential equation d2y dx squared minus 4 dy dx plus 3y equals to x squared d2y dx squared minus 4 dy dx plus 3y equals to x squared Now this uh, kind of equation, um, we need to get the, the general solution of this equation is given by y equals to complementary function plus particular plus particular integral. Now for us to get the complementary function we assume that the left hand side is equal to zero and we extract the auxiliary equation from this expression now auxiliary equation will be m squared minus 4m plus 3 equals to 0 equals to 0 so we ask ourselves that two numbers when you add you get negative 4 when you multiply you get 3 the numbers are negative 3 and negative negative 1 negative 3 plus negative 1 get negative 4 negative 3 times negative 1 get 3 so these are the two numbers so this equation becomes m squared minus 3m minus m plus 3 equals to 0 Now we group them into twos like that and then we factorize the common factor between m squared and 3m is m we take it out we remain with m here here we remain with minus 3 minus one is the common factor between m and 3 so we take it out into m minus 3 equals to 0 so here we have now m minus 1 into m minus 3 equals to 0 Now from here, from this, m minus 1 equals to 0, so we have m1 equals to 1. Then from here we can get m minus 3 equals to 0, m2 equals to, to 3. So these are the roots of the equation. Now. If we have real and different roots to auxiliary equation, the solution is given by y equals to a exponent m1x plus b exponent m2x. Therefore, from this calculation, our complementary function will be equal to a exponent m1 is 1 times x 
to be x plus b exponent m2 is 3 so it will be 3 x so this is our complementary function this is this one okay now we need now to get the the pi um, now since we have x squared on the left hand side our assumed pi our assumed pi will be y equals to ax squared plus bx plus plus c so that will be our assumed pi our particular integral then we differentiate this equation dy dx will be equal to here we have 2 ax plus b differentiate again d2y dx squared will be equal to 2 a now we shall now substitute in this equation where there is the 2y dx squared will replace with the 2a dy dx will replace with this and where there is y will replace with that therefore this equation becomes now 2a minus 4 this 4 into dy dx which is 2ax plus b then plus 3 our y is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to plus x squared plus c uh -huh. so we have 2a minus 4 times 2ax we have 8 ax minus 4b 4 times that then plus this is 3ax squared plus 3bx plus 3c equals to x squared Mm -hmm. So from here we shall equate the corresponding coefficients of x. We shall start with x squared. The coefficients of x squared. Here we have 3a. Here we have 1. So we have 3a equals to 1. Then we also equate the coefficients of, of x. Uh, on this side we have uh, we have 8 8 uh, which is this one minus 8 uh, and then plus 3b this side is equals to 0 then we equate the constant terms constant terms we have 2a minus 4b plus 3c on this side this should be 0 uh -huh. you can now solve these equations so from this you can say that a equals to 1 all over 3, you divide both sides by 3, so a equals to 1 all over 3. Now we can, when we replace a, here we can get the value of b minus 8 times a is 1 all over 3 equals to minus 3b. Okay, this is uh, minus 8 over 3 goes to minus 3b so to get b we divide both sides 
there are four. This and this will be positive, so b equals to 8 all over 3 divided by 3, g equals to 8 all over 3 times 1 all over 3, which equals to 8 all over 9. Okay, b equals to 8 all over 9. Uh -huh. So, can now get the value of C. Now that you have B, you have A. Uh -huh. So, 2, two times 1 all over 3, which is this one, minus 4 times B, which is 8 over 9, plus 3C equals to zero. Now this is two over three, two over three, minus that two over nine, plus three C equals to zero. Mm -hmm. So we have two over three, Minus that 2 all over 9 equals to negative 3c. So the LCM here will be 9. 3 into 9, 3 times 6, or 3 times 2, we have 6. Minus 30 to 9 year 1. So 6 minus 32, we have. Negative 26 all over 9 equals to negative 3c. Negative and negative to positive. There are 4. 3c equals to 26 all over 9. So c equals to 26 all over 9 divided by 3. Uh-huh. Divide by 3, so we give the same as 26 all over 9 times 1 all over 3, which equals to 26 all over 27. Uh -huh. So we have, so the particular integral graph will be equal to will be equal to our a is 1 all over 3 x squared plus our b is um, 8 over 9 8 over 9 x plus c which is 26 all over 7 26 all over 27 uh -huh. we have this so we have Complementary function of particular so integral. Therefore, the general solution would be equal to complementary function was a exponent x, a exponent x plus b exponent 3x, b exponent 3x, then plus the particular integral which is 1 over 3 x squared plus 8 over 9 x plus 26 all over 27 so this is the the solution the general solution to this the second differential equation Thank you for listening.